All right, frustrating. That is the best way to describe our effort to keep our lawns looking like lawns this yeah, year. <laughs> I've kind of given up. Oh yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of rain in the spring and then the sprick spigot was turned off for the summer and brown has become the dominant <laughs> color now. So is there anything we can do? Well, John Shumway put out the SOS to the lawn <laughs> guru for some help. So John, what have you learned? Do you remember those words of assurance back in July? Oh, your grass is just dormant and it'll come back on its own. Well, maybe not. The hot sun, the lack of rain. This was a difficult year to try to grow grass if you didn't have irrigation in your yard. So now when you're looking out your window, you're seeing um, a combination of dormant grass, which will come back, and, and what is dead grass. Um, and I, as a turf guy, I don't like to say those words, dead grass. But um, that's the reality of what happened to us this summer. Penn State turf management expert Jeff Fowler says as the temperatures cool down and we get a little bit of rain this fall, the dormant grass will reveal itself. But let's cut to the chase. What can you do about the dead stuff? Combination of aerification, top dressing and overseeding. Aeration is getting one of those machines that pulls plugs out of your lawn and open it up so it can breathe. Then comes the top dressing. Uh, about a quarter of an inch um, of, of organic matter, compost, um, mushroom compost, those kinds of things. Yeah, but how do you spread it? Putting that stuff in a wheelbarrow and a shovel and just kind of, you know, kind of throwing a nice even coat of it out there um, does, does well as also. Then you come in and spread the grass seed with a little bit extra in the brownest spots. If you do nothing this fall, will it all miraculously return next spring? Unfortunately, the dead spots are going to be dead. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. And Fowler says if you do nothing, weeds will happily fill in all those brown spots for you. Now, after you get the seed down, you want to do some watering every day if it doesn't rain. And the best bet, right there on your grass seed bag, it's going to tell you how often you need to be watering. So just follow the directions. Sounds like quite a commitment. I know. And, yes. Uh, well, oh. fortunately, John Shumway will. Do, work this yeah. as a service. Yeah, I'm sure. We'll come to anyone's yard. Call. And, we yes. have his email listed on our website. But yeah, it does sound like a lot of work, John. It is a lot of work. And have you seen my yard? It <laughs> is designed for maximum return. Now, if you don't want it to go through all that, you can tear up the brown spots, throw down some fertilizer and seed, water, and do the best you can to get that seed down in the soil. Because if you just throw out the grass seed, guess what? It just becomes bird food. Yeah, it's true. All it right. Still sounds like a lot of work. It is work. You know oh, what? Boy. I'm determined, though. I really am. I don't want Good my. For you. Yes, I mean, like my entire front yard, I think, yeah. is dead, it's not, not dormant. You're not alone. Yeah. All right. Thanks, John. Sure. <laughs> well.